Today I'm trying to go and visit this exhibition about Art Nouveau somewhere in the city center. And, uh, but it says here, it's uh, like it's full for the rest of the exhibition. So I'm gonna see if I can still get in, but wow, yeah, like I cannot miss this. It looks so nice. Okay, I'm ready. Let me see if I can show you the, the outfit. Yoga is the best I can do. Let's go. Oh, and I didn't show you my shoes. <laughs> yeah, I took the metro and I'm ready to this cute place and I have to walk like 10 minutes this way to get to the exhibition and like I don't know how you guys do it to film in the streets and talk like it's way too stressful but uh, I think it's fashion week so we might see cool fit so what I'm gonna do is just film the, the streets because it's a nice day today and hopefully we see nice fits on the way too and uh, I'm trying to comment it or some, something like that Okay guys, I made it here to the Place Vendôme, very close to where the exhibition is and uh, let's see if we can get in. I'm pausing here because I could actually get in. Of course, they told me that it was not possible to get in without a reservation. But you know, a little smile to the ladies at their reception and voila, they said, exceptionally for me, I could pass. Plus, it wasn't crowded when I arrived, so I guess it helped because there were so many people waiting outside when I left. I couldn't film inside, so I took pictures of all the things I wanted to share with you and um, back to the video. All right, I just finished the exhibition. It was so cool. I'm so glad I, that I could get in. And uh, I can't wait, wait to share all the pictures I took for you guys. And uh, I think now I'm gonna walk back home and maybe film the streets a bit more and then I'll make a review and present you everything that I saw. But they're doing a photo shoot over there. Hey, hey. <laughs> cool socks. Cool hair too. I'll play work in my home. I used to come here a lot because I used to live like two, three metro stations away. Now I'm a bit more far in the south. Brings me cool memories. So many people. Yeah, I didn't think that the exhibition was going to be like in this neighborhood. It's like a very fancy area. And I guess everyone's here for fashion which Okay, my guy is going to check up the paintings. I want to do like a painting vlog. It's on my list. I work on it. The loading weeks. Well, let's check out of white store in there. Okay, let's check it out. Ooh, photo shoot over there. Let me zoom in. Oh, is this insane? Like, she just said her her kids love this brand. It's it's a cool brand. Um, 
Yeah. The lady was looking out the feet. She liked it. I think she liked the feet. She's telling to her husband, you please buy me these shoes. I think the husband is not, not so much into it though. It's like that. Mm. This way is so cool. My like friend is looking at the Cool shoes. Cool feet. Hmm? Let's go through the park. It's just trying to get some air in the city where it's impossible to get some air. Mm. Yes. Oh, the what is this? Actually, I have no idea what this is. Let's, let's check it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Model walking, boom, boom, boom. Until we serve. No. Yo, oh, it's huge. Why? It's in a pop-up store. It's very cool. But there is a line to enter. Fuck it. Plus, like, I have no money. Oh, our friend is here. Ben. It's a good feeling. And, uh,. I have no money. It's like, I don't want to get into the store when I have zero money to spend. It's just sad. Oh, that's like an uh, art studio stuff. Let me see. I'll ask why it is. Maybe I film inside. I'll be back. But they said, like, it's only open tomorrow for the public. I mean, right now it's super open. Like, I'm going to show you. I guess I'm the public. And, uh, and, and it's full anyway, and, and you have to pay. So it's like, well, I already entered to what I wanted to see today. And uh, let me see, I can show you from the side. It looks like this, like some clothes. And, but the cool thing is like, they have like, oh, you cannot see too much, but they have like uh, animations on stands when you can make your own, own clothes and own design. It looks really cool. Yo, I'm, I'm getting lost. I have to go back home and edit everything. Oh, they're so cute. Because, oh, he has my shoes. I can see my shoes. <laughs> I have the same, bro. I have the same. Good taste, my guy. Okay, yeah. It's super touristy, but it's still, it's pretty. You probably have seen this a million times. Who do they put in this? Who did they show here? LV did he show? I don't know if they're building or putting out. Probably putting out. It's big, big white boys. Okay, I think I figured out what it is now. <laughs> It was for the Dior show. Welcome to the park. Um, I wrote a little intro and also got the book of the exhibition, so I have a few anecdotes to say and um, I'm gonna write it here and you can pause and read it if you want and let's get to the pictures. So the exhibition starts like this, there is like a bodyguard who opens the door for you and it's this tiny tunnel and like I was kind of taken by surprise because you have this very dark tunnel and these first pieces are quite dark like nearly gothic Halloween theme with the bats and I was expecting something like more shiny and vibrant colors but super interesting nonetheless this is actually a belt buckle which is like so crazy it's really cool and it looks very sturdy too because a lot of these super fancy jewelry pieces look so easy to break this this one I could wear yeah, very, very special. Like still in the same style, but quite like a specific take on it. Here in the top right, you have one of the few bracelets. Um, I think it's the only bracelet of the of the whole exhibition. And you can see like a guy kissing a girl. It's very, very pretty piece. I mean, I'm going to say everything is pretty because every single piece there was like a masterpiece pretty much. I just like the layout here and this pendant is so pretty really pretty pendant and it's one of the things too is like you have all the pictures from the the magazine or the book 
but it's something else to see all these pieces in real life because you can see how they reflect the light and the proportions of of them in real life like it changes a lot the experience well this brooch is one of my one of my favorite yeah also again quite a dark quite a dark aesthetic to it like the other pieces this one is a really creepy one you can see like a creepy dude behind this lady um and you don't really know if, if he's drowning her or if it's like a nightmare i feel like probably it's like nightmare inspired and then that's the whole that's the whole place so you you enter from the corner there and then you kind of have like these two just two paths you can walk uh, at the end you have a lot of beautiful mirrors um it was like quite small but every piece was so special like even after now reviewing them one by one like many of them i don't remember because it was just like so much to take in because there was there were so many details on each piece and yeah that's like from the other part of the room and at the end you can see the mucha parvant paintings well okay so this flask are just so incredible and this one he managed to make some kind of mermaids on each side looking like this i think you can hold a bit of water or something like in the middle it's just so stunning oh and this piece i love this piece so much because of the story tells like that's the point of the whole thing of with art nouveau is not only using these incredible techniques and these beautiful stones to just make um a pretty piece i mean i said art nouveau like here and specifically for jewelry it's also the idea of taking a concept usually from nature whether it's like from science and like proper things that we can see or from dreamlike and fairy like worlds and this looks like an illustration of a book i like this one a lot all right this one is one of the prettiest pieces of the whole the whole exhibition you can tell the japanese inspiration in it usually they don't like to reference too much japan but in some cases you can clearly see the influence there was this kind of sea serpent and um there is one anecdote about this one which is um one of the best friend of the person who made this piece was either an art collector or just a rich guy in portugal and he has a museum now in Lisbon, if I'm not mistaken, and the only person to ever wear this piece was the wife of that person, and probably only was worn once. This one in real life was really beautiful. It's a corset decoration, if I'm not mistaken. It's something for here. Uh, that's the one you can see on the on all the advertisements for the exhibition. Well, one one of the prettiest piece for sure it's it's a pendant and for me it's like i like it so much the reflection of all the different blue pieces here is incredible um the whole composition of the piece is so pretty it's quite small in real life it's quite small to me it didn't hit as much as other pieces there i love this one so much because um, once again, a lot of the Art Nouveau inspiration is from nature and the cycle of life. And it's about being born and living and decaying and dying. And you can see here, it's like autumn leaves. That is, or oh, it kind of like a little bit like this one, you know, like the leaves in autumn. And in like in real life, I love to play with these in the park or in the forest. So to have it as a jewelry piece, I think it's so beautiful and I really like this teal color with this emerald green. One of my favorite for sure. Mm, for these two, like the white part, it's so pretty. I think it's not the same techniques used for both. Um, I think here is some opal and here is some glass melted and re -sculpted. It's really pretty. Once again, the way the light passes through this, it's very special. Oh, these ones um, that, that that comes here and after are less interesting to me. It's just I like the idea of um, it's like um, the illustration you would find in a book, but they made it into a brooch. So you have this one, 
this one with the winter theme this one i can i could see some people loving this piece it's really cool the, the story it says beautiful pendant mm. this one it's interesting the how like the artist went realistic with the face of the person reminds me a lot of the mucha cardboard drawings and here once again you can find that girl again i don't know why are they all inspired by this ginger looking girl but what can you do with this i think i'm not sure if you can open it and put something in it or it's supposed to be a decoration of something i'm not sure about the purpose of this object i'm not a big fan of these ultra realistic drawings and items in general in terms of human parts like used it's kind of the same thing with the scaparelli um jewelry it's like i love it so much one of the things i went to the exhibition in paris like a few months ago and um let's take this one for example it's like i love the idea of taking n normal garments like coats or your pants or bags and adding little details that just elevate the piece so much it's like you would change the zipper or with the for the buttons instead of putting like these random silver buttons that are ugly we can put some beautiful jewelry or brooch that means something to you it doesn't have to be expensive it's just customizing things a bit more and to make the piece more interesting the thing i didn't like about the scaparelli stuff was that it's a lot of human eyes and nose and ears and it's so uncanny to me i, I don't personally like it but overall this was an amazing exhibition too when and this piece one of the prettiest for sure too of the whole exhibition quite small in real life but you can see the movement in it and once again the colors are really pretty and yeah once again um a female mermaid as an inspiration it's a cool necklace double pieces i don't have much to say about this one oh this one i really don't like that's why i put it too it's these very straight lines and it's still in the style of Art Nouveau. It's still made by Lalique, who made most of the pieces here. But no, it's way too abrupt and like silver for me. Not that I don't like silver, but it's gray. It's not, it's not giving much. Oh, this is actually a Cartier piece. This is a piece made by Cartier. Very goth again. You can see huh, the this Renaissance and goth I would say it's not source but like hints in the designs and you can recognize the blue of Cartier I actually have like it's the same on my watch I really like this piece ah, it's so cute very very tiny like two three centimeters in real life and very cute little flask little container this purple is so pretty some examples of drawings because the um, all the artists working on these pieces were like pluridisciplinary meaning that not only they were good craftsmen they were also studied deeply studied like all the arts of like life science and learning how ecosystems work and drawing these insects lizards things of the nature um really really well which is why also like made all these pieces like so impressive because also also insanely accurate as you can see here beautiful composition and how they displayed everything and you can tell in the level of details i'll try to find something to as an example for this later because this doesn't really show that here oh i have an anecdote like really funny as i was looking at this piece the guy next to me was talking to a lady and he was saying like um yeah i really like this piece because it looks like ivory even though it's not it's glass and that's why i choose it <laughs> and i was like well, what does he mean he choose it and i was actually the curator of the whole exhibition so that was a cool moment um but one of my favorites piece to put a color pattern i love this very light blue tints of blue in it and this branch i like this one this one is so funny because it's a hat accessory and just like 
imagine like pinching this into your head like you have to aim well otherwise you're gonna fucking dent your head um that's a crazy that's a crazy item that's crazy oh this one straight out lord of the rings the elves one of the most wearable pieces of everything we saw in my opinion at least for me it's something i would wear simple but like nice execution overall This part here looks like it's part of the branch. I like it. I like it. Oh, here is some of the example. This is some of the pieces that were shown at the end. And is this very, in this one, they went like nice detail on all the branches and leaves and back to putting stones in the, in the jewelry. But it's, it's quite elegant with this eight slash infinite shape. Elegant brooch. I like it. Once again, in the same idea, it's you take uh, a branch and and no, I think I no notice how like it's not flowers. I feel like it's like you rarely see flowers as a subject. It's a lot of leaves, branch, insects, but not really flower. I wonder why. Maybe why it was used too much at the time, and they were trying to. Um, choose subjects that were different and new than everything that was made before. Once again, the leaves is beautiful piece. Looks like from the elves of Lord of the Rings. This is a head ornament. Ah, uh, the shadow, really pretty. Look at the details. This is, what, this is what I was saying earlier, where you can tell that they spent so much time observing and drafting, drawing all of these before making them simple maybe you might say a little bit too uniform in the way it looks but it's just these stones are so pretty and it's gonna reflect the light in different ways and i think uh wearing that like i would ever <laughs> be able to wear that i think it still works this one was a bit of a hard one for me i love these autumn colors but this big moth and this big sauterelle, I don't know how you say it, like in English, this jumping thing, it was, it's really big. It's like that big in real life. Um, and I mean, on the, on the piece, the sauterelle is that big. And that's a bit scary. Like, I don't know. I feel like at night, if you don't see well, you might see someone with this in the head, you might confuse it for a real one, which also attests to the quality and the um, precision, the accuracy on how they make these things, but I'm not too sure about this one. Ah, uh, yeah, this one I remember. It was funny because um, it, it really, really cute, really, really cute piece. I just wish that maybe they did the eye in a different way. Like it looks a little bit um, grossier in the way it's made, but this is actually called uh, Cerf Volant in, in French. Like that's the name of that piece and a Cerf, in French is a deer, you know? And so it makes sense because like the f this is a flying deer and it makes sense because you can see the horns of the deer. So I'm like, oh, okay, they call this the cerf volant because it looks like a flying deer. But in French, a cerf volant is also the name for a kite, like that you would fly as a kid in the air. And I'm like, why would you call that a cerf volant? That means no sense for me now. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, very cute and colorful little beetle. Okay, and that's it. That's we we've. I didn't take pictures of everything. I just took the pictures of like nearly like what like a third of the things that were there, and I try and take pictures of things that was like speaking to me at the moments when I w was seeing them. Overall, what an amazing experience. Very 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 glad that I could go and that they let me in and I could visit all this. Okay, don't mind the attire. It's just getting a bit cold here. My favorite pieces probably. Let's rewind a bit. This bracelet is is quite incredible, and it's one of the only I think the only bracelet bracelet of the whole exp exhibition. And there were no rings neither. Oh no, actually there were many rings, but I'm not too much of a ring guy, so I didn't take pictures of any rings. But if you like rings, uh, maybe check on the internet. Like they have very cool, very very cool Art Nouveau rings. 
this pendant so pretty one of, one of my favorite things just a bit too goth for me oh this one yeah okay and this one i really 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 like this one um this one for the for the idea and the execution like incredible item this one yeah for the story this is probably the most beautiful in my opinion of the whole thing and this one this one this one speaks to me a lot and one of the things that makes art nouveau so magical for me as a movement is the fact that at the time there were so many new science findings and discoveries about um, nature and the world that surrounds us and you had all these stories of Jules Verne and Victor Hugo about like world discovery and um, for example like for example this for me it's very Vermilieu sous les mers Jules Verne inspired story also there were so many new techniques that allowed artists to make things that were never made before and yet the artists instead of just using these techniques to make like more expensive looking jewelry they still wanted their concepts to be at the center of the creation and use these new techniques and stones to further and better convey these ideas and these concepts so instead of just doing a pearl necklace and maybe doing a nice layout it's first what stories they want to tell what is their main inspiration and then how can they use these techniques to arrive to a result like this which is so stunning and i feel like this is really what started given also what i've read this is really what started the art making of jewelry and instead of it just being a display of richness do you say it like this wealth instead of it being a display of wealth it is there used to communicate emotions which is essentially the point of art all right i hope you enjoyed this van cleef art nouveau jewelry review it was so much fun to do for me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.